there's tons of food that is being imported from very far away. Sometimes the basil we're eating has seen more of the world than us. So there's something fundamentally broken, which we're trying to fix by bringing the food production closer to the people. InFarm is an urban farming company that deploys highly efficient vertical indoor farming units inside the fruit and veg departments of supermarkets. The carbon footprint of each plant that we grow is just a tenth of what it would be when it's being imported uh, into Europe. So what goes on in each farm is that we can control the climate conditions really from light and temperatures over to fertilizers, etc. So all that symphony together allows us to grow plants really under ideal conditions. We're even collecting over 50,000 data points in order to optimize our growing technology, which is really the farmer in the cloud that is then eventually making each plant that is being grown better than the one before. Self-sufficient cities uh, means for us that you're cutting the supply chain, you're cutting food waste, you're cutting the usage of energy and water to have an impact on the carbon footprint that our fruit and veg system really has. In order to develop one prototype at a time, we had to invest a lot into agri-science, into software development, into hardware engineering, etc., which obviously requires um, the best talent we can find. And that costs a lot of money, which is when we applied for, for the EU grant. In the lifetime of each young company, you have different chapters. The research grant of the EU was one of the chapters that really allowed us uh, to open up the next doors from the equity investors like Cherry Ventures and Balderton Capital, who were both also backed by the EU. This continuity and financing allowed us to fuel our growth trajectory. We're now envisioning also filling up large warehouses with our farming technology, becoming the fruit and vegetable department of a city. My name is Martin Weber and I'm the CFO of InFarm.